Hey there, everybody. My name is Joyce Omondi Waihiga. Welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. This is the second hour of our show. Certainly hoping that you are enjoying our programming for you this morning. Remember, in this hour, later on, we're going to be bringing you our fitness segment. Today, they're going to be going through band workouts. But first, in this hour, we will be going through relationship talk. And um, today, we are specifically going to be focusing in on women and why they are losing the dating game. My guest is already here in studio. I'm going to be introducing him shortly but first let's take a look at our quote for the day it says create a life that feels good on the inside not one that just looks good on the outside I'll read that again create a life that feels good on the inside not one that just looks good on the outside and I, I think so many people struggle with this actually um, you know they want their lives to look a certain way we're doing it all for the gram and for social media but inside really they're decaying and they're depressed and they're really sad much more important to make sure that your inside is full of joy and hope and peace you know because people outside <laughs> they're not paying your rent <laughs> they're not going to come and give you a hug at the end of the day so let's stop measuring ourselves by other people and what they say and you know by the things that we own let's begin measuring our successes by the values the principles the inspiration and the hope that we give other people because if you look at it I think world over there's so many examples of people who on the outside have it all together but Kumbi they were really struggling with something and and we've had even many take their own lives for it so I hope that you guys can recalibrate your minds and begin to really shift your perspectives and begin to look at what is on the inside because that is what matters most. Whatever is on the inside is what bubbles outside, okay? Nothing from the outside will bubble back inward. <laughs> that just doesn't even work as far as science is concerned. So be encouraged this morning with that quote. And remember, triple one, triple four, triple one is our new SMS line. Looking forward to receiving your comments as we go through the show. You can also contact me on Facebook. And uh, let me just uh, shout out um, some guys here. Hey, I specifically want to shout out Josephine Mwangi on Facebook, who um, has here rushed to her YouTube channel and subscribed. And you say the, the song is such a blessing. That is uh, a comment on our previous guest here, Faith. She's actually posted a screenshot of her here on the YouTube channel, on Faith Wairimu's YouTube channel. She uh, is disabled, but is also really passionate about singing. Uh, thank you very much, Josephine Wangi, for that. Um, Alice Kalondu is asking, Full circle, Kwan Huanza Sangapi. My dear, we are here at 8 a.m. You've already missed an hour if you're just tuning in. But Karibu Sana, great to have your company. We're here every Monday to Friday from 8 to 10 a.m. I also have Masi Pretty Te taylor um asante sana you're watching from thika joffrey oindi from kangemi i have gradas m ocheng who said faith wairimu you're a true hero just believe that the journey of a thousand miles starts with only one step mikhail ruth as well watching from the coast thank you for that laughter's water from limuru in kiambu county asante sana kevin shirao from mosoriot nandi county you're tuned in Thank you for that as well. I really do appreciate you, David. M Davey Melly as well. Uh, Jane Ruth Miner here from our earlier segment said, Hello, good morning. Tuned in from Thika. Wow, about anger issues. May God help us as leaders, especially um, people really suffering from this thank you very very much uh for all of that feedback there on our facebook page what our facebook now shkuru sana sana and uh, remember you can also reach me on our sms line triple one triple four triple one in fact someone here said uh good morning joyce today's show is very inspiring and motivating to see that faith is pressing on and following her dreams despite a lot of obstacles may god open up doors for her and keep that million dollar smile on her face that's emmanuel who was watching the show sikuta um uh, Robert from Lucky Summer says, Hey Joyce, I'm happily watching the show. It's great and your dress as well. Well, thank you. Thank you. And uh, someone here, Anne says, I love your program a lot and it's true. Faith is so beautiful. Tell her God has a purpose for her life. Asante Nisana, keep that feedback coming in to 111 
With that said, let's introduce our next guest. His name, of course, is Joe Wisdom. He's an author and a consultant. Uh, great to have you back on the show. Thank you. Thank you, Jace. Uh, looking forward to our discussion today. Uh, Joe, and yeah, this, I need you to come to the rescue and let yes. us know why some women are really struggling as yeah. far as the dating scene mm -hmm. is concerned. Yeah. And maybe just to, to, to preface this conversation, let me begin by asking you this. It, it seems to me that wanaume hapo nje some of them wanataka mwanamke anakaa hivi you get my flow anakaa hivi yes uh but but pia wanataka sijui mambo ya nyumba you know yeah. so you want her to be really well put together but yes. you also want her to be someone that you take to your parents yes. mara sije asiwe na kucha yeah. asiwe na nywele refu sije mm -hmm. asifanye nini <laughs> <laughs> in yes, general, yes. which type of hair. <laughs> um, so, you know, do, do men, is there a certain type of woman that men are looking for? Because I feel like we're getting mixed signals. Uh, there, there are several categories of men. Okay. And uh, different men want different things. That's right. And uh, when we talk about the kind of a woman that a man needs, Mm. There is there is the picture that is in in the mind of a certain man, yeah. and that picture is motivated or inspired by the environment around that man. Okay. So there is a man who want a, a, a lady who have who have the figure because of the influence of his 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 his, his the group the environment. Mm -hmm. He wants somebody that he can present, regardless of how mannerless anybody is or how good mannered <laughs> somebody is. <laughs> Provided is someone he can show off. Okay. There are other people who want the character, uh -huh. especially people who understand destiny. Okay. Because I can tell you, Joyce, marriage and even now settling down in marriage is not even about the physicality. Mm -hmm. And the physica physicality has its part. Mm -hmm. But it is never about the physical appearance. Mm -hmm. That can attract you to, a some to someone, but it's not the head by itself. Right. You can marry a beautiful trouble <laughs> as a man. Beautiful Shida. Yes. <laughs> so beauty is not everything. Right. And sometimes I, I have found myself there. I, I have ever judged somebody by the looks. Mm. Only to relate with that person at cross range and realize how beautiful the heart of that person is. Mm -hmm. And I apologize mm. even to myself. I say I'm sorry to myself because I, I, I prejudged this person. Mm -hmm. So I think the bottom line here is that... Um, is very good as we said we have said in this show before mm. it's very good for a man to know what he needs exactly what exactly that man needs right who so when you're in confusion you may you may see a big woman and you want I, uh, this my kind again you see another slender one and say, i think slender ones are better mm. uh, if she faints i can carry her you know <laughs> so many men needs different kinds of women depending on the environment okay yeah Okay, um, so the, the topic today then is that w women losing the dating game. Yes. Is that true? Is that your, would you say that's a true, a fair assessment that women are losing the dating game? And uh, if so, why? Yes, women are always on the receiving end. And it has not started now, Joyce. It is started even in the days of old. You see, women have always been victimized. From the days of the old, look at the woman who is brought by, by the people because she has committed adultery to Jesus. Mm -hmm. She was just about to be stoned. And Jesus looks at these men and, and wonder where is the man? Mm. Where is the man? Uh, because you never hear of a man who was a prostitute, but you hear Mary Magdalene was a prostitute. Mm -hmm. So women, but it does not mean that men doesn't go out. But mm -hmm. when a man goes out, it's okay. Mm. But when a woman goes out, she is... Uh, she, she, she's all manner of things are spoken right. about her. Right. So women are always on the receiving end. But the bottom line here is that um, when you realize the place that the society places you, the, the society expects a woman, you know, to do things very different. If you see a woman smoking, you, 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 it's, it's not normal. But when you see a man smoking, it's okay. Mm. So what you are basically, when you see a lady who is drunk, who is drunk, you feel like this woman is very careless. What about men? Mm. They are falling everywhere and nobody is bothered. So what we are saying is that when a woman realizes the expectation that she has and the, the society has on her, mm. she must up her game. Right. Because the society and life in general will never forgive you. But then there are those ones who would say, why should I up my game? It should be the men upping their game. Mm -hmm. But I guess 
that's part of the loss because yes. depending on what you how quickly i guess you want yes. unfortunately there are just things that we have to deal with mm. in the sort of patriarchal society mm. that yeah. we yeah. we live in mm. right so adapt and adjust yourself but also rise above yes. i think is what you're saying yes mm. um and i usually tell to this um I, i'm a pub, I'm a, I'm a trainer and uh, in most of one of my one of my signature programs especially i usually actually advise all ladies to do that program is mm. personal branding okay because just let me tell you in life you are either a brand or a commodity wow depending on how you present yourself to the society either a brand or, or a, a commodity. commodity yes let, let me let me draw it bring it closer to our viewers okay uh you know an uh, you know an apple mm -hmm. and you know an avocado mm -hmm. the truth is you can even find an avocado that cost more than 30 shillings mm -hmm. and it is fluctuate in prices mm -hmm. 30 20 40 you can even get a 50 shillings bob mm -hmm. avocado mm -hmm. but apple never changes it's 25 30 shillings mm -hmm. But the way those two things are being treated is very different. Mm -hmm. An avocado will be will, will be sold from from a gunia or a carton. <laughs> you know? You know it's just there, it's just there. An avocado suffers from low self esteem. It doesn't know its worth. <laughs> In my book <laughs> avocado is bay though. <laughs> so but, but yeah, I but, hear but, you. But, but but an apple an apple knows itself not because of the price the price is actually lower than the avocado but it's secure in its identity and uh, an apple is so proud that it must it must have a sticker on itself <laughs> not only that it is sold from the packets na iko na tumashi moto wake alafu iko na malingo ingine inakaa ikimwagiwa tumaji yani that 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 identity is what a woman needs Okay. You don't just need to be an ordinary woman. Right. You can add value to yourself. So you are either a brand or a commodity. You are either an apple in the market or an avocado depending on the way you present yourself. And uh, you make a very interesting point here mm. because I think too many times we equate value mm. with the sticker price, mm -hmm. with the cost of mm -hmm. the item mm -hmm. if you will. Mm -hmm. But here you are saying that actually it could be that the commodity sometimes yes costs even more mm. than a brand yes. like the sticker price is more mm. than a brand yeah. but one sort of has this reverence mm. that that is is you know is is carried differently yeah. 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 that's very profound mm. and so to every woman out there mm. hopefully you're not carrying yourself as a commodity mm. um and and just thinking that it's because my my bags you know cost mm. however mm. much money yeah. and whatever or my hair is this much money mm. or you know the things that i own cost this much money no mm. don't make yourself a commodity yeah. and yeah. don't be so consumed mm. by items and things and how much they cost but mm. look at yourself as a brand yes. and really seek to understand what value do i carry yes. and what am i bringing to the table to a mm. relationship yes. very very profound conversation um i think i have about a minute or two until i have to take a break mm. so let me just begin we can first go through um maybe some of the different sort of types of women that mm. you actually talk about in your book here mm. Mm. this is wisdom for relationships single love and marriage and you wrote this with your wife yes. uh, linnaeus joe mm. um and so let's talk about some of the women uh, that you've sort of classified in the in the different types of women let's say the same way there are different types of men yeah. let's talk about some of the different types of women and mm -hmm. why i guess they fall short as far as dating is concerned let's begin maybe with you have here an unbeliever yes um an unbeliever is this this comes from your faith because you cannot marry someone who is not of your faith and expect things to run smoothly because what you are doing is that you are throwing it yourself into a confusion because you don't subscribe to the same values your value system is so different hmm. you are you are just wired the way you have been brought up is so different your priorities are not their priorities mm. you know you you can imagine someone who is not of your faith and i don't want to to i don't want to classify anybody saying this faith or that faith but what i'm saying is that there's always a, a premium when you get somebody who is of your faith because there will be an understanding mm. now one of the fruits or products of marriage is children mm. 
Now, when these children come and you are coming from different backgrounds, from different faiths, where, do you, where will your children go? You throw them into a confusion. They are stranded in life. They are confused. And one of the things you, you, you realize, even uh, when you study, one of the greatest things that a parent or a mother or a father can leave to their children is the gift of faith. Mm. So, it is, uh, when a woman positions herself, to be a woman of faith, regardless of which faith, and you, 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 you also attract people of your faith. Mm. Uh, contrary to that, you throw yourself into a confusion. Mm. So that's my advice. Okay. Get someone of your faith. Okay. You share values, you have some the same understanding. Right, yeah. right, right. Mm. Okay. Um, let me read a couple of SMSs here before I go on break. Someone here says, Good morning, Joyce. It's a great morning today. And just learning about leadership from Moses to having the young lady bless us with her potential. And I want to say thanks for having Joe Wisdom. And they say they were blessed to purchase two books from you wow. and uh, much more. And they listen to as they listen to you talk. Uh, Asante Sana for that message there. Someone here says, hey there, um, I'm Jackie, 26 years old, dating a 27 year old man. We've dated for four years. Our relationship has been having ups and downs every time we have a disagreement. He just says, let's quit, but have, but after some weeks, I guess he comes back again. We've also had infidelity issues and I'm tired of this. I feel it's high time. Interesting. Uh, we'll see if we can rope that into our discussion as well. Uh, Hannington from Lamu enjoying the show and saying it's very educating. Asante Sana. We're going to take a break though. When we come back, we're going to continue this discussion here with Joe Wisdom. And I kind of just kind of go through different types of women and what could be their biggest pitfalls when it comes to dating. Triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line. And we'll be back after this. Hey guys, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. I'm here with Joe Wisdom and uh, we're having a very interesting discussion on Facebook. This is what we have uh, captioned there for you, for you to comment below. Every man has this picture of the type of woman that he wants in mind. And this is the picture that motivates him in that chase, right? Um, so what's the pressure? Are the men's expectations overrated? Uh, or is this a generation of undateable women? Oh dear. Okay. So uh, a couple uh, comments on there. Wanjuku, Wanjiru Wanjuku just says, wow, I'm loving this. And then I have Mjuku Wawasafi who says the expectations that men have for a future wife are no longer active. You claim that women of this generation are not wife material. Hey, well, okay. I want to see uh, what we can uh, say about that. Of course, we've been going through different things mm. already. We've seen how very important um, that women, uh, you know, enter into a relationship with someone that they share mm. core values mm -hmm. with. Mm. Key among them being faith yes. as well. Yes. Very, very important because mm. that's if, if you're living your faith, mm. that should be driving all of your decisions. Yeah, that's true. So that's absolutely uh, very important. Um, some questions here, though, also on our SMS line, triple one, triple four, triple one. Someone here is saying, hey, Joyce and Joe Wisdom. My name is Maina Bakari from Nyeri. This mm. man is full of substance and bonga points. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Um, Grace from Thika says, I got married to the man who loved me so much. It's now three years. I find him chatting with the lady love messages. I was shocked because I've never expected such being that we got a holy marriage in church. Can he stop chatting with them? All right. Um, and then someone here is saying, Anyway, let me get to that question later. Mm. But I think maybe you've gotten a sense of some of the questions that, yes. that are coming in. Mm. Um, and I want to specifically talk about um, the type of woman who is looking for someone to carry her baggage mm. is, is actually how you've defined it in yeah. your book. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what does that mean? And uh, what, what makes this woman lose now in the dating game? No, they are, they, they, they are women. I want to coin that with a lazy woman. Okay. Because a lazy woman is a woman who, who is irres who is number one is very irresponsible. She's not she has not been able to to put her life together. 
and she now thinks that all her problems can only be solved by someone else. Mm. So even when they are looking for a man, they are not looking for a, they are not looking for a partner just, j just by God's design. They are looking for this kind of man who will carry her baggages, who will carry uh, uh, the mistakes, who will bear with the mistakes that she has done, mm. who will bear with her laziness. This woman cannot pay her rent. This woman cannot, um, uh, maybe her life is not up to, up to the point that an ordinary woman should, sh should be living. And you find that uh, this woman will now, her, her target is a man who has the ability to bear all her burdens. A, a, a good example, a woman who is not working and she's not employable because of her attitude, you know, mm. she just, her work is to lazy around. She raises herself around. At the end of the month, the, the landlord requires his dues. So this woman now begins to call men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, they have a certain conversation <laughs> and they, they want to box you because they want their bills being paid. Mm. Now, woe unto man who falls into such a temptation. Mm. Because in case she fights, and you know she will be very humble because of the situation that she's in. She will even purport to look like a marriageable woman. Mm. But immediately she gets into the house. She begins now, because she begins now to be the woman that she is. Wow. She doesn't want, and, and this, this is the kind of a woman that she is, you know. The man wants to secure her a job she doesn't want. Or she goes to work. One month she's not, she doesn't want to go to work. Mm. She sets a business for her. She says that that business is not even, is not even selling, is not a good business. Mm. So these are women who is just looking for a man. Actually, who you are not a futa beba beba. Wow. Unfortunately. Wow. Yeah. And at some point, I guess that's going to be discovered. The man kind of... Now, before the man discovers, the man will have used every coin because possibly this man believes in this marriage. Wow. Uh, and it's good our viewers to understand that we are talking about the women today. The, the, the men have their own challenges and weaknesses. Sure. Yeah. So people, let, let people not misunderstand our conversation. We're not saying men are perfect. Yes. No, 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 or no. Or that no, all no. women are like this. Actually, they are, they, they, they are, if, if, if a man, if a man is weaker, if, if a man is weak, if, if a lady is weak one time, a man is weaker 13 times. <laughs> okay. That is why out of, um, out of one man's rib, it gave us a woman. Mm. So you can imagine the, the, the 13 <laughs> left ribs if you convert it into women. Yeah. So convert the weakness is equivalent. <laughs> so men are very weak. Okay. But basically, women are supposed to take their positions. A lazy woman, a, 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 a woman who want a man to carry her baggage, later or sooner will be discovered as she will not have a marriage to keep. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. What about the one who quarrels a lot and nags a lot in yes. their relationship? Yes. Now... Joyce, the most dangerous thing that a man can ever have or found, find himself in is marrying a kurosama wife. Hmm. Actually, look at this. Proverbs 20, 21 verses 9. That is better to live in the roof of a house. Is, is better to live in the roof of a house hmm. than to live in the same house with a kurosama wife. Wow. We give you a serious you just live there, my friend. <laughs> Rather than live in the same house with a kurosam or a complaining wife. Yeah. You know, a kurosam wife or a complaining wife, you know, we, we, we are talking about a nagging woman, is a woman who will never appreciate anything. Mm. You come with a kilo of meat and she's saying, why didn't you buy a liver? You could have brought this. You can. She cannot appreciate what, what is available. Mm. A nagging woman is a woman who will keep objecting everything any suggestion mm. any idea without even studying it wow that's a nagging woman a nagging woman is someone who will who, who, who will who will who will cause chaos around him herself mm. she will fight everybody around her mm. actually for a quarrelsome wife the man has no friends mm. because she'll try to quarrel everybody she can even get into your phone and find that you had called a lady and she begin calling everybody around what are you doing with my husband? Some of them are even the relatives, and you are harassing them. <laughs> it's very dangerous. You know? <laughs> she has no boundaries. Uh -huh. yeah. She has wow. no boundaries. Wow. Mm. 
Hey, okay. So nagging women, quarrelsome women. Yes. You're literally destroying your relationship by your own hands. Yes. And you, you even buy her an outfit. But she, she's telling you, uh, you are not buying it for me. I know you are buying it for someone else. It's only that you did not find them to give them. You know, it's like she cannot appreciate anything. Okay. She's, she's very critical in everything that you do. Wow. Yeah. So that's definitely going to and be And men feel frustrated. Men do feel frustrated yes. with that, I'm mm. sure. I'm mm. sure. Um, okay. The sort of related to that mm. is, is what uh, you would say is a hot-tempered woman. Yes. Mm. Now, a hot-tempered woman is a woman who have no self-control. And self-control is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Self-control. Mm -hmm. A woman without self-control will react over everything. Someone will call the husband at night, but she's hot-tempered. She can even... Th 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 those are the kind of women when a man gets into the house mm. and, sh and the man sees some boiling water. She's asking, is that for Ugali or is it for me? <laughs> because you don't know what will happen. Oh, my. Men have suffered on the hands of hot-tempered women. Yeah. They can even bite you, literally. I have seen... <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a man who is healing out of a wood that was beaten by the wife. Oh, no. Hot-tempered. Now, let me tell you, Joyce. When you are living with a hot-tempered woman, don't dare go to sleep with him. If, he's, if he is angry, please sleep in the coach. Because at night, even when she is standing, you woke up like a karatesian. Because you think she is fighting you. Oh my goodness. You cannot have peace when you live with a hot-tempered woman. She will even blast you in the multitude. So how, how then do we sort of fix this? Because clearly these are not good stereotypes or even characteristics yeah. you know for for anybody to mm -hmm. have yes. so how then does a woman sort of ensure that she's positioned herself mm -hmm. uh, to actually succeed at yes. the dating game and yes. to present herself well mm -hmm. um for a potential spouse mm -hmm. and even then in marriage yeah what i would say and i'm speaking to our sisters they are our sisters they are they are our friends is that let ladies not justify their weaknesses if you know you are hot-tempered, stop justifying your weakness. Stop saying that that is who I am. Stop looking for a man who will love you for who you are. Mm. You are not who you are. You are whom you have become. Mm. In Wisdom Talks, we say human beings are human becomings. You are a product of the way you are brought up. Mm -hmm. And in the course of life, you have learned some bad manners. That Those bad manners have informed your character. Mm -hmm. And through that character is what you are now telling us that's who you are. You are not. You can change. Change is possible. You can change. You can unlearn and you can relearn. You know? Mm -hmm. No child has a point of view. When every child is born, they have no point of view. Mm -hmm. So all the views and perspectives that we have in life are input from our environment and from our associations. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling every woman, because let me tell you, Joyce, any woman, any woman or anybody, Whatsoever, anybody, wherever. Th these are people who will try, who keep justifying their weaknesses. When you justify your weakness, you feed it. Mm -hmm. And what you feed grows stronger. Mm -hmm. It gets stronger to a point that you cannot overcome it. It overpowers you. Mm -hmm. And that keeps people away from you. So one, if a woman wants to be attractive, then you must master your weakness. Yeah. Let me advise my sister again here. Stop telling people or stop exposing your weaknesses. You don't sell your weakness. Right. You sell your strength. And that is why it is very, very important for you to mark your strengths. Portray your strength. Mm -hmm. It will cover your weaknesses. Mm -hmm. Master your weakness. So identity is very important. First, know what am I struggling with. Mm -hmm. When you master what you are struggling with, then you can, you can, because life is not just about you, there are other people around you. Mm -hmm. So you cannot be careless about your environment. Wow. Yeah. For anybody who's skeptical about what Joe is saying, someone here has written in and said, uh, Hey Joyce, I just want to thank Joe Wisdom for the single seminar he brought at Transformation Church Center in Nakuru. Wow. That's where I met my king back in wow. 2017 and wow. we got married just the other day. Wow. 
Napenda vile ye huongea ukweli. Bonga points ako nazo. <laughs> Keep inspiring people, Joe. God bless, they say. And so there's definitely truth to what you're saying. Mm -hmm. It's probably a very bitter pill for a lot of people to swallow. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that it's not true, that yes. there's no truth yeah. to it. And so, you know, hopefully people are learning from that. But I also want us to help out Jennifer from Kahawa West, mm. who writes in and says, I'm 32 years old, born again, and I've, I have never dated because I've never met anyone who fits me. All I have come across um, are just men who want to have sex even before we get to know each other. Mm. So I end up breaking away from them. Right now I feel lonely and I'm just trusting in God for my partner. Mm. So there are women who, um, they're doing things right. Yes. But maybe they're still winning, losing this, this yeah. dating game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're trying to play by the book. They've been holding on to their values mm. and their principles, but yeah. they've just not been able to find the one just yet. Yeah. What would you say to that person? Uh, to we have Jennifer? we have quite a large class of people who look like our sister Jennifer, and I can tell you, and we usually do some single forums like the one, the the, the one of our viewers have have done. We mm -hmm. call them single special, mm -hmm. and one of the things that we tell singles is that you are special, regardless of your age, and you should not be desperate. You know, God has a plan for you. Mm -hmm. God is not, you might be stranded, but God is not stranded, Jennifer. God knows the person that you have set for you. Mm. You better be single and whole. Yeah. Rather than be in marriage and broken. Absolutely. So I can assure you that anything good, anything good must find its owner. Mm. Anything good, even in the supermarket when you go there, you can find something that is very expensive, but it is good. One day, the owner will find it. Right. So continue waiting upon the Lord. Yeah. Continue doing what you're supposed to do. It will be Continue worth adding the way. value to yourself. Absolutely. Equip yourself. Now, Jennifer, let me tell you, this is your time to read about marriage. Study marriage. Mm. Professional, I'm an accountant. And I thank my, my, my dad, Joe Wisdom Roa, mm -hmm. senior. Mm -hmm. You know, this man has mentored me in wisdom and, and in life. And one of the things that I, that I came to understand in life, um, Joe, is is that uh, whenever I was, I, I discussed with my dad, he told me, Joe, there's always someone set for you by God. There's always someone. There's someone that God has positioned for you. So don't rush. Okay. Do things at the right time. Right. He, actually, he told me, don't put a cart before a horse. Mm -hmm. Do things, do fast things fast. All right. Yeah. So to any woman out there who yeah. feels like, you know, you've been playing your part and you've been doing what you need to do and things just haven't worked out just yet, you're not losing. You're just on your course. Mm -hmm. Don't compare your lane to somebody else's mm -hmm. lane. Mm -hmm. It will be worth the wait at the end of it. I love what you said that mm -hmm. too many times people rush into a relationship mm -hmm. and then you end up broken. Better to be single and whole, mm -hmm. ready for that relationship mm -hmm. when yeah. it is time. Remember, God does make all things beautiful mm -hmm. in his time. So yeah. thank you so much, Joe, for that reminder. And mm -hmm. to everybody else, if you're on the other side of the spectrum, if you're mm -hmm. that woman, I hope you've paid attention today and, uh, and maybe have gotten some enlightenment as, well, as far as why things perhaps haven't been working out for you as far as the dating and relationship scene is concerned. But very quickly, Joe, mm -hmm. how can people reach you and uh, get a hold of your content? Yeah, we, we are located at Roiro, uh, Roiro of Press called Kimbo. Mm -hmm. That's where we have our training center. Wisdom Center, mm -hmm. and uh, I would want to tell our viewer that, especially for the ladies, we have a very good program for them called Personal Branding. Okay. Basically, and because of this show, I'll, I'll, I'll give them at a discount. Wow. I'll give them at a discount. Let them, let them, let them reach to us. Joe Wisdom, Joe Wisdom Roa is my Facebook account, mm -hmm. and Wisdom Talks is our Facebook page. Great. They can also get me through our number. Yeah. Zero seven two three seven eight one. 351 okay. 0723-781-351. Great. Thank you, thank Joe. You. Great you to so have much. you as always. And uh, thank you to all of you guys who've sent in your feedback and your comments, your SMSs here to the show. I certainly do appreciate you guys. With that said, we're going to take a break now. As we get ready for our final segment for the day, it is fitness. And uh, today they're going to be taking us through band workouts. Stay tuned. This is Full Circle with Joyce. <laughs> 